So President Solis, it is our pleasure to have you here at ITU and congratulations on being the first ITU patron for youth and ICTs. Thank you, I'm honored, I'm very happy and I hope I keep up to this big commitment because it's a high responsibility to be awarded with this uh, extraordinary occasion. And a great honor for ITU that you have accepted. And I'd like to start, President Solis, by asking you, why do you believe is ICT so important for youth today? Well, because it's the future and because it's already a reality that needs to be used as an opportunity for the improvement of the lives of millions of people. Uh, I'm uh, always amazed when I see the world in general, how many people are not connected to the digital ecosystems. And it is our duty, I think, to bring the opportunities of more people to get engaged, and particularly young people, to use these uh, information uh, technologies to live better. Uh, this is the whole issue, living better, living uh, uh, more plentiful lives, uh, having the opportunity to fulfill the dreams of individuals, which can be so well served by these technologies. But obviously the challenge has to, to bring us to the realization that this is an effort that needs, requires public policies, that it cannot be achieved simply by extending markets. Uh, there is a role for the state, there's a role for governments, and clearly there's a role for the cooperation between the private sector and the public sector, achieving therefore more potency in the programs we, we, en we enact to, to generalize the use of, of digi digital technologies. But um, in, in my estimation, um, you know, the, and I'm a historian, uh, history has taught us that technological change conditions in many ways uh, the possibilities of society, of society function. And with digital technologies, we have the opportunity to democratize uh, the economy to democratize uh, politics, to democratize uh, social organizations, territorial development, etc. So in my, in my view, uh, having the um, technology available, it is only natural that governments and the private sector together with the rest of society will do the utmost effort in order to provide these um, um, technologies to be available for the majority of people. This is going to take time, it's not going to happen overnight, but we do require to bring about this opportunity to many people. And this includes particularly an effort from, uh, from the public sector to um, help the, the concretion of this, uh, this dream by education, by fomenting education, which I find critical to this regard. And with regard to the role of government, what concretely do you think that governments can do to better empower young people to become entrepreneurs and to drive uh, ICT startup cultures? Well, as I was mentioning, one fundamental uh, ambitus for government action is education, good quality public education. And, and good quality public education today entails access to the broadband, for example, having internet become uh, a normal part of uh, the pedagogical model. In Costa Rica, we are trying to do this with a special fund we have from telecommunications companies, that private companies that are working in the country. And what we want to do, and this is already uh, an ongoing effort, is to make the broadband available to all public schools and high schools, which would allow immediately to have access to a you know, universe of possibilities in terms of educational developments. That's one thing. Secondly, I would find essential to provide funding for these uh, uh, startups. Uh, in my estimation, this is probably the most uh, necessary resource, uh, especially because young people are generally unexperienced and therefore they have very limited access to credit. So having them uh, given the opportunity to access these credit mechanisms and, and provide these mechanisms with facilities, including uh, special interest rates and, and others, uh, could allow uh, for an easier way to do it. And then I would pay special attention to the uh, populations with disabilities or with special needs, because they are uh, doubly or triply excluded uh, as young people uh, and women because um, we, have n we are not prepared for, for, for them and, uh, and we're not readily and the, the tools are not readily available 
for this. You know, I was one. I was once told, and I fully agree with this, that there are no there are no people with disabilities, but only people with special needs. Disabilities they are because of society's lack of ca the capacity, lacking the capacity to take care of those special needs. So I do find that these three uh, essential factors would be essential, uh, uh, fundamental: S education, finance, and access, accessibility to the majority of the young of the young population. And does the, the UN system and the member states of ITU now really prioritize youth and specifically youth and ICTs? Do you believe that that can bring a positive contribution to tackling the global issue of youth unemployment? Oh, definitely, most definitely. But it would be very important uh, to somehow link uh, the availability of the digital, of digital resources to the more traditional uh, parts of the economy using, therefore, uh, telecommunications, innovation, uh, and, and communications um, as a springboard, or even as a bridge that would allow these more traditional parts of the economy to link up with the more dynamic parts of the economy uh, related to the global world. Um, as I mentioned earlier, there's a, a huge gap between the uh, uh, the populations that have read, read, uh, that are accessible or have access to technologies and those who are who, who do not, and I would find that uh, uh, making it possible to link up these two parts of societies would allow us to reduce the gap and at the same time uh, include more people in the benefits of, of 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 development. So yes, I think it is possible to. Uh, lessen the amount of people who are unemployed, young people who are unemployed, um, as we expand these technologies. President Solis, thank you very much for joining us here today, and especially congratulations on being the first patron for ITU for youth and ICTs. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.